to license it. Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Matchbox Makeovers. I'm Andrew and on the bench today is an MC Toy Porsche 956. It's a race car legend and I'll tell you a little bit more about some of its amazing times and statistics as we move through this interesting makeover. I'm going to try to make it an original a replica of the 1982 24-hour of Le Mans race car. But first, a big shout out to all of my subscribers to help me reach this mini milestone. My first 100 have been amassed and it's growing slowly and steadily since then, so I appreciate that. And of course, if you are enjoying this video, I invite you to give it a thumbs up and become another new subscriber of my channel. It's only about two months old now and during this coronavirus lockdown I've had lots of fun uh, doing, uh, this is number 36, makeovers. And I'm, I'm just learning, picked up tips and tricks on YouTube and it's all about nostalgia and childhood memories and for me special interest and fascination with the Porsche mark. So I hope you'll enjoy this one. The strip down is the same as all of the other die cast cars. A couple of rivets come out and in this case the windshield is fastened as well and so I'm careful in the beginning to make sure if it's in good condition before I start I don't end up scratching or cracking the windshield during this process. There's a single rivet was holding this one together. In the back it clamps in a little slot. So I only need to drill out this one post today. That's the screw that I'll use to reassemble it at the end of the process. I'm a little disappointed by the MC Toy choice of wheels, not the style, it's the size of them are a little bit small for the wheel openings. And I never throw anything away, uh, I'm trying to build up a stock and inventory of spare parts, so I'll keep these wheels, but I'm going to go on a hunt for something a little more accurate and appropriate for this build. You stay tuned and see what I can come up with. into the paint stripping gel and you can see that the decals are already melting off of that and so my prediction is this paint job is not going to put up much of a resistance. But while that's covered up and melting down there's only a couple of pieces to go into the hot soapy water and here they are. The 956 made its debut at the Silverstone six-hour race in 1982, the second round of the World Championship for Makers with Jackie Ickix and Derek Bell driving for the factory. After missing the following round at the 1,000-kilometer Nürburgring for developmental reasons, the Ickix Bell unit reappeared at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. They led the race for the entire 24 hours, eventually taking the overall win, which was their third win together as a team. The two other factory 956s followed them, so the three factory Porsches finished 1, 2, 3 in the order of their starting numbers. While I work on refurbing this windshield, let me tell you a little story. I live in Basel in northern Switzerland, which means I'm only about a three hour drive up the German Autobahn from Stuttgart, where the Porsche factory and museum are located. And there's a fantastic 
modern, high-tech, interactive display in the museum. And here's a picture of the 956 mounted upside down to symbolize the downforce it generated, which was purportedly enough for the car to continue to race upside down if the track were to be inverted. Cool. Even after all of the wet-dry sanding and the polishing compound, it seems to be a universally accepted tip to dip the windshield in floor polish. So, if you're new to the hobby, that's a good step that you don't want to miss. Whoa. Looks like the 956 was in a fire. And this paint is coming off in sheets. Look at that. That's why I leave the screw in the drilled out post because of this step and as well as the painting, I don't want anything to get in there. And after going to the laundry room uh, wash tub for a brush up, this is how it came out. So of course at this step you need to go to work with some bare metal detail and I get to work with the old wire brushes these days. And they're not very abrasive, you might think they are, but I could run that right over my thumb and not have any dire consequences. And this is super fine steel wool after the wire brushing. And I've noticed just under the rear spoiler a little bit of a, not a casting imperfection, but it looks like something was spilled and bubbled up that paint and left a little bit of corrosive damage or something on the body. So I have to give it a little more attention and it came out pretty well. Did you know that it was a Porsche 956 that set the overall all-time lap record for the demanding 20-kilometer Nürburgring Nordschliff circuit in 1983 by Stefan Beloff, who drove his 956 around the circuit in 6 minutes, 11.13 seconds, at an average speed of 202 kilometers an hour, or 126 miles per hour, a record that would stand for 35 years until it was broken by another Porsche. A thorough degreasing is another important step as a prerequisite before the primer coat and the spray can paint application. And for this job, I'm just restoring it to the original white. This is a gloss white out of a rattle can. So you can do this at home with the tools that you already have, I'm sure. If you're interested in the hobby, I found it to be really, really fun. <laughs> in my search for wheels, I found another 956. But it's not a Porsche, it's a Prosh. I wonder... Uh, it doesn't say, but I'm, I'm guessing made in China. <laughs> so that, that was in the original Junkers box that I bought a couple of months ago when I got started, but I'll hang on to that. I research and create and print my own decals at home on water slide decal paper, but first I'm careful to do a mock-up just with paper and tape to make sure I've got my measurements right here are the tools assembled and this process is crucial in today's makeover because it's just a white body. A lot depends on getting this just right. Coffee is required at this stage. This clear liquid I'm applying is called Decal Set and that helps give you a little extra time to position the decals and adhere them. Believe me when I tell you, these are as delicate as butterfly wings, and you have to work carefully and quite quickly. And you 
don't want to damage the decals and this has got so many I'm kind of holding my breath here now the decal set is important on the hood of the 956 because you'll see all those body lines and shot lines and indentations and so this will actually melt the decal and help it conform to the contours of the model high-tech tool number one is a box of toothpicks and I make use of the cotton q-tip just to dab off any extra water so that doesn't stay underneath now continuing my search for wheels you recognize this it's not a 956 this is the 917 LH it's a precursor this was the Porsche's first win at 24 hours of Le Mans in 1970 and 71 was in this car and it's a Hot Wheels model and the wheels are a little closer to what I'm looking for and because it's a plastic base I can just pop them off now I bought this at Walmart for I don't know a dollar ninety nine and I got a set of wheels if you order wheels on eBay you're paying six to eight dollars now check this out white wheel in the back and a gold spoke wheel in the front now are those the exact gold spoke wheels no I don't have 956 racing wheels in my collection do you <laughs> no nobody does so relax a little bit I'm trying to come as close as I can with what I've got it's not a competition entry it's just a guy having some fun on the hobby bench this Porsche is going to end up as a gift for a little boy or girl. If you're enjoying the video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. You might be a Porsche fan or just a die-cast restoration fan like I am. Hit that subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner and hit the notification bell as well. I also invite you to leave your respectful comments below tell me what you liked about this or disliked or what I could do better because I'm learning and all your tips are helpful and I appreciate them. Well let's have a closer look at the 956 now that it's all finished. The clear coat put a little shine on that and the light reflects off it. Tail lights are painted in. The rest are basically decals that I've applied as best as I can and the wheels are matched as closely as possible with my inventory. Come on, they're pretty close. Here it is at the start of the makeover process. Beautiful car, worn out decals, some paint corrosion. And this is the finished product after today's work. I hope you had fun watching this short video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Come on back real soon. It's coffee time.